All right, as you can see here, these are my materials. There's the cat food can. You just need to take something round and run it around the edge and, and mash this lip right here flat. I generally use a uh, pair of uh, needle nose pliers. I use that round edge just to go around the cup. Just kind of pushing in all the way around and, and smooth that down. Then the second thing we need is a tomato paste can. You can get this at your local grocery. It's a small diameter can. And what we're going to do is I have measured two and a quarter inches. And I will cut along this black line. I'm going to use my Dremel tool. But you can use a hacksaw. Uh, and, and cut it if you need to. And then for our our wick, you use this uh, flammable protector. Protects things. It's all it is is it's a carbon fiber sheet. It's a heat shield that most plumbers will put behind their their tubing when they're doing their soldering in of copper. Of course, not a lot of copper is being used these days, except maybe in the heating and air business. But uh, that's the three items we need. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use my Dremel tool and cut this down to two and a quarter inches. Okay, I now have my two pieces that I've cut. I use that little cutting wheel right there. It works great for cutting along this can. I'll take a little file now right quick and knock these burrs off and then we'll proceed. There you have it. Now what we need to do is I've got to cut some little V's, one on each side, so that the fuel can get past that to, to be soaked in by the carbon fiber. So we'll just take us some snips right here. And I will just cut me a little V. Doesn't have to be very big. Like so. Go to the other side and we're going to cut one just on the opposite side. Yeah, clumsy today. Well, I'm clumsy every day, but that's beside the point. Like that. Now, as you can see, we have a V on each side. That allows the fuel, as you pour it on the inside, to be soaked up by the carbon fiber, as I say. Now we've got to do one more thing before this is finished. We need to drill two small holes 
on each side of this so that when you set your pot on it, it doesn't put the fire out. It can still get oxygen. All right, I'm going to drill about a 7 30 seconds hole. That seems to do quite well for what, what I need. So... What we're going to do is we're just going to drill one on each side. So here we go. Actually, drill a pilot hole makes it easier. Let's start out with a one eighth. And we're going to go straight across from that one and drill another one. Like that. Now let's increase that size to the 730 seconds. Let's take our round file and clean that up a little bit. It's got a little bit of a burr on it right there. Let's see if we can get that straightened off. through the other side that way. Put that little burr off there. a little bit of a burr on it. Let's, do, let's clean that up just a little bit more. There you have it. 
Now this piece is completed. I take this as I said earlier and I take these and I push it around the edge using this round. You can put it against the table and push on it. Just to get that edge down, make it smooth. Now we just need to cut our carbon fiber. This is pretty expensive. It's about $20, but I've already made probably five or six of these cans using this. So, not really, when you start looking at it like that, it's not that expensive. And I think we want to make this inch and a half wide by seven inches long. Yes, it's an inch and a half by seven. So what I like to do is use my little square over here. It's about the right width. So what I will do is I will put this on here like so, take a razor knife and just cut it using this as my guide. Like so. And now we need it to be seven inches long. So, take my tape. It's an inch and a half. Find my seven. Right there seems to be seven inches. I'm keeping these little pieces. I'm thinking about building one and just putting them all together and see if they'll work. So now what we want to do is we're going to take our carbon fiber that we've cut inch and a half by seven, wrap it around our can. As you can see it likes just a little bit going together but by the time you force it into that can it will touch. It will be it will be look like a solid piece. Now we just try to start it into the can. This is always the fun part of the process. Let's try putting it just a little past it and see if that makes it easier. Okay, now we'll just have to take and push it, push it down in there the rest of the way. I've got the can bottomed. So let's see if we can get that to go down in there. Find me something to push with. Well, let's see, where's my pliers? I think I used those needle nose pliers last time. Just to kind of get that work down in there like that. It's 
kind of go around it slowly, push a little at a time. Just get it right below the frisky can. It can it can stick up just a little, but try to get it down in there as best you can. I apologize for the noise because it's windy here. Sounds like it's picking up a little bit. Now to work that in here toward the split so that the split comes together. around it a couple of times to get it the way you want it but just work with it kind of slow looking pretty good you can't see the split in it anymore that all comes together after you force it into the can There's the finished product. Little Frisky's Alcohol Stove. In my opinion, this is the best little stove that you can make. It doesn't weigh anything. I need to weigh it to see what it weighs, but I want to get some alcohol now and we'll do a test burn. All right, here's the fuel that we're going to use. This is what I like to use. It's about $6 a can at Walmart. And then I fill up little three ounce bottles uh, to carry in my pack. So let's put the fuel in there. Uh, my tripod's giving me trouble, there we go. I'm just going to guess at an ounce of fuel. Like so. Let's get this off the table. <clears throat> Let's light it up. All you got to do is light around the carbon felt. And there we go. Now let's put some water in our cup. about 16 ounces you need to burn all the plastics off that's inside of this tomato paste can it has a plastic lining in it and this will burn it off so you always want to do an initial burn in Let's 
see how long it takes for it to boil that water. You're starting to get a boil. Our water came to a boil in about four minutes. Because that isn't bad. Let's see how long that burns now. There you have it, folks. The little Frisky's alcohol stove. Very lightweight, very efficient.